four, five kilograms. Nice big grouper. Oh yeah. Arr, the arr, 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 arr. Bing sails like a champion. And we arrive in this beautiful place called Compass Key. Beautiful. Apparently there are nurse sharks all around here. A couple of dolphins moving in a lazy way. We call them. Bahamas here on Ace. We've got sunset. We've got sleepy crew Bing. We've got a little sunshade. We've got Steph, the captain, the amazing, who's oh, painting a beautiful sunset picture. Yeah, He's got his other art out. Touching up a few of my works here. Uh, just a little bit of mixing up on things that I've done and that I like and that I prefer to just change up a bit. Uh, trying all sorts of different things with the oils, I love it. And now it's the sunset inspiration from the photo I took yesterday. Uh, no <laughs> Picasso, but uh. <laughs> Beautiful sunset yet again. Yeah, today I had the best kiting, the most beautiful place I've ever kited in my life. Hundreds of different shades of blue and white and sand and greys and oh, wow, what a beautiful place. Three dinghies show up at this beautiful 50-foot uh, monohull. One day when my boat grows up, it will become something like this. Uh, we have Jason and Megan who host us um, with potluck. Everybody brings something. Pam Guys, and... Thanks for having us on your boat. Yeah. Yay! Yeah, you, you are kicking my ass at chess. It's unbelievable. Here we have some beautiful faces. Cheers! Great, and some not so beautiful faces. <laughs> I'm here though. No, no, no. Ace in the background and sunset in Bahama. Oh. Yum, yum. Proudly see such a nice Cape Town made uh, catamaran titled Ikaya, meaning our home. Now, this wouldn't happen in Cape Town where the nurse sharks are all coming closer they get attracted by knocking against the wood and here are all of these guys are going for a little swim around the sharks don't try this in the western cape and he says what what do you say a beer yo a man comes over <laughs> offers a beer that's yanni that storm he's becoming nice one yan yo Come and visit my friend Young for a little drinky. I'm back in Staniel Key with a new autopilot and I see these guys stuck on the reef here. Uh, thinking to myself, I'm glad that's not me. That doesn't look like fun. They've got the engine running. I don't know what's going on, but these poor guys are not going to be pulling off that reef in a hurry. They have to wait for the high tide before they go anywhere. Not looking that great. Shame, man, guys. Yeah, some things when you are sailing are quite interesting. Like I realize, I don't know how many weeks or months it's been since I've actually been to a washing machine. And here, nice dryers and washing machines for quite cheap money, five dollars. You sit here, chill. I just made a roster man. Wonderful. And people are. I'm going to live music here right now. Oh, great. Meet some nice people because we are going on the regatta today. We have musicians, we have wonderful people, we have kiters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are, we're at Lorraine's Cafe in Black Point. Thank you for that. And uh, yeah, we're waiting for the Bohemian sloops to pull the, the day. So this is a Bahamian sloop and these guys are doing a bit of practice before we get going in the race. I'm sure the serious races are going to look much more hectic than this. They're a bit in the lean, but they're really lean. Oh, there you go. There we go. <laughs> this is how it's done in the Bahamas. You hold on tight and you do a hot changeover. These two crew members are just about to climb onto this boat in the hot. Okay. okay. Am I going to do this? You can do it. You can do it. Off you go. Jump on. Jump on. Well done. What's the name of your boat? Raging Bull. Are you the winning team or not? Yeah, that's the winning team. Are you sure? Yeah, the winning team. All right, change over. All right, the winning team. Have fun, guys. Have fun. 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 Have
Excellent. First race. All right. Have fun. The races start from being on anchor and sails down and then raise the anchors, raise the sails through the boys and off we go. Yes, starboard. Hold the second line port. Back here, starboard. And then you finish by right between the two buoys. Oh, let's, go, let's go! And they're furiously pulling in the anchor. These guys are fast. Three of them. Oh, nice. Hey, on the committee boat, you you say about falling into the irons? One of the guys. He was leading the damn race, and he instead he pulled around that boat. Now they got to drop the sail in order to get on the irons. <laughs> Guys are approaching their very first turning point. They've got all looking in the first place right now, and they have really got it together. Nice. These guys are approaching at a very close second. They have to pass this with the port tack, so they're doing really good. Really good. Wow. Full speed. Nice. Woo, 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 woo. That's all the onlookers are on the dock. Tell you, what I told you, everyone I watching you out. The better yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good advantage. Yeah, good. There we go. Super nice. <clears throat> coaching from the oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> Coaching here from the Commodore's boat. <laughs> Love it. Make a comment on the absolutely agreeable weather at the moment here on this Saturday in Black Point. Just unbelievable. Just cool enough in the evenings and uh, hot enough during the day. The water, a nice cool temperature. are oh, brilliant. Uh, there are my glasses. A really wonderful man who's been so very kind with me for pointing this place out. And that's Jan. Thanks a lot, Jan. Yes, it's Dude, this place is proper and really, really nice. Another beautiful day in the Bahamas as we go up to Shroud Key and we are going to kite surf like we did yesterday together in the next days. How wonderful. Great. Today is the 18th of March and a beautiful day to be alive. Just going to lift the dinghy motor in a moment, but I'll be fine. Oh, 10 centimeters to spare. Yo. It's just before sunset. I've come to park next to my wonderful friends here. I don't know who this strange boy is, but these are nice <laughs> parents of this strange boy. Cheryl and Nancy, and of course, young Jacob, who I taught a fantastic magic trick to yesterday. And now we are playing Jenga. And so, go for it. Oh, ah, okay, we're starting again. Ah, voilà, je t'ai dit, ça va être trop, trop court. Ouais, c'est pas mal. Ok, cool. Go for it. Oh, looking good, looking good, looking... Oh, all right, a little help from my friends. Oh, just three touches. <laughs> well done, Jacob. The lightning's around us. Uh, it's quite worrying. I'm also just in front of my friend's boat, which uh, I don't love. But I relax and enjoy listening to class classical music. Use a moment to clean up my boat a little bit and collect water in the water tanks yay the water catcher is working strongly in the front there but look after quite a rolly night last night and a really big storm that passed here this morning one of the biggest i've experienced so far i uh, come to the beach for a little bit of stability and that the world doesn't move around it feels really good for something to do while there's no wind there's this dinghy route that goes through this beautiful uh, cut amazing as you do more and more paintings how you start to feel more comfortable with what you've done ah oh, really enjoying it oh that's so nice oh on a stormy bad day with a boat's actually rocking but you still manage to make a painting i love it the two little birds have made themselves a roosting spot for the night on my dinky too cute nice place looks like nature broken boats and sailing boats along with gunships. Interesting. 
driving around in the suburbs with my boat. Take that. Even the Zambezi here, it's just spelled different here. Uh, dive shops and yeah, very cool. And Ace is parked right there. Big catamaran next to us with a 60 horsepower engine as a dinghy. And uh, Jay's boat, I don't know what's leaking out of his boat, but something leaking. And they're sitting up there, I'm going to join them. Just maybe a beautiful ramen noodle dinner. Yeah, lekker guys. Super. Oh. It's like enormous next to Ace. Ace is like completely dwarfed by this thing. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> I'm in the suburb and uh, so nice. But this thing is like, I don't know, 50 times. <laughs> at least 10 times bigger than this boat inside. Ah, part of getting a marina place for $26 a day is getting a free car. A courtesy little tin box, a tiny little thing. But it serves the purpose for going to get gas and propane and shopping. <laughs> One thing about an island country like the Bahamas is as soon as it rains and really rains, then everything becomes a flood, flood fest because it's so flat here. Really crazy. Having fun <laughs> on the way to pitch the boys at the airport. This is the Bahamas' most famous self taught artist. And at first, I thought his work was very childlike. And the more I look at it, the more I think, wow, how creative, how wonderful. Just great ideas and wonderful colors all done together. Ah, excellent. Really, really nice one. I particularly like this work. We wake up to after the storm and I fetch my friends at the airport. Their flight was like an hour and a half late. And here they are. Two wonderful men come and join me on a boat. And the first one I introduce is the old man, Nicolas, and his son, Hanno. Morning, guys. What is going on here? First morning on Ace and... What? Boat maintenance. Hanno, where are you? What are you doing, dude? Up on the mast. You're up on the mast. Yeah. First moment, the youngster's so happy. He's going to fetch my Windex, which... The instrument. As Sean, our host, and his son Robert look on, we have Hanno on his way up the mast again to bring the Windex back up. Nicholas is straining himself. He can kite for hours and hours, but he can't winch somebody up the mast. But we're doing well. Let's try it with the drone. Here we get to the beach for the very first time. Welcome to the Bahamas, boys. And awesome. how does it look? Awesome. We're having beach access through uh, an expensive club. We decide, no way, let's just drive another one kilometer and get to a nice beach and then we're pumping up and Nicholas is laughing at my South African system he says he has never seen such a rubbish system of a pump that's why I bought a new one wonderful but unfortunately it's an SUV pump and it pumped up a little bit too hard so what happened here Nicholas yeah it just exploded it just Woo! exploded and gave us both a fright as it just completely exploded and we managed to break my kite one time well done Hang on some new equipment you want to say something to your buddy who you've uh, gotten these super fins from? Very lacquer. Lacquer. Let's try them out. Hey, how's it? Good morning. How's it? Good Hi. morning. Oh. Am I looking nervous, Hanno? No, no. No, you're fine? I'm good. Yeah, you're sure? I'm good. First time that the boat is properly healing in a nice strong wind. Before. As breakfast is being made here, we have nice Korean spices and uh, green pepper, onion and uh, homemade bread going on. The lacuna board is being put together by these two superstars here. Absolutely great. And we are going in quite roly conditions, ready with our dinghy to go off onto the beach and try some new fantastic equipment. Yummy, yummy, yummy. That's so on arrive à la plage. Hey, how does the beach look to you, Hanno? Beautiful. All right. Look at that color. Yo. Yo. Some nice people. We get front door service done. On the little quad bike. That's the way. See our second uh, rocket launch uh, in the time that I'm here in the Bahamas. This is quite a spectacular sight. The light is bad for filming wow. but there's little bits of particles falling off the back of the rockets so are like uh, uh, things that are dissipating it's crazy and quite a light show
and we are looking at one very proud father who is oh, what foiling uh -huh. first day on the foil yeah, great. It's good already. as Hanno rides the boat we have wonderful Nicholas doing a nice face plot <laughs> what happened my bro yeah, yeah. sunscreen yeah. oh sunscreen oh yeah sunscreen. <laughs> uh, the... uh, yeah another good day here and check the size of my foot another very very nice big one here yo ah, what have we got there yeah must be over five kilograms nice one the diligent young man does a little bit of studying while eating an energy bar well done very impressed riding the winning foil is nicholas my turn next we're gonna play it in stages this is what i really hope they come here so we can really learn this together as hanno plays us a beautiful piece of music and we see Ace in the distance there and our dinghy at a closer beach. We discover just over the dune another even nicer, uh, very, very nice uh, beach here. Hanno has adopted my t-shirt from Lacuna. Butternut and sweet potato slices. One meditating on the beach here as we make our first actual braai. It's a fish braai, a nice one from earlier that we caught and two other little ones. Nicely marinating, should be goody goody. I take a gentle look to my right hand side and I see this massive cruise ship which appears to be on a collision course with us but actually it's going to pass in front of us because it's doing about 20 knots and uh, we're gonna get a lekker wake off it, it'll be interesting. And father and son are having a moment, wonderful. What's going on here? It's a dry start for Hanno! Father and son playing like an absolute champ team. Hanno having the best time on this holiday so far. Kicking it off there with a 15 horsepower. And our two friends have been so kind to let us use this. Uh -uh. Such a nice party tonight. <laughs> really nice. Nicholas bought two tails for each person. Hanno went, I can't believe, 16 knots of wind is up. It's morning and we are actually playing chess. I can smell rubber burning. Where Nicholas's brain is frying. And I enjoy our last moments of sailing together. How's your night been? Let's go over that again. Oh, perfect. Yeah.